like coming out here. I mean, it's sad to say this feels closer to home than Finland. <laughs> you might want to not run that. But no, I love, I love Copenhagen. I mean, I've been coming to Copenhagen pro for, I don't know, since 98. This was one of the first contests I ever came to. Cool. And that was, I had so much fun, so I've been just coming every year since. This is probably the only skate contest I would shoot. I have no interest shooting any other contest yeah. ever, <laughs> you know? The money in skateboarding is in advertising, shooting clothing, and that's what you kind of count on. Right now, it's time and money. It's like I'm so fucking far behind on bills and camera gear I need to buy that it's like the debt is up there and I'm just constantly trying to catch up. Yeah. So I kind of have to balance it somewhat, yeah. feed the family. Yeah, I mean, I got I got into it like when I started traveling through skating and I just carry a little point and shoots with me and on tour and just started snapping photos of people and landscapes and, you know, just tour life in general, just random stuff. And you know, my approach is like, do, do as much in camera as you can and just use Photoshop or whatever as a, as a darkroom, basically, just a developing tool, you know? Yeah. Well, my first initial thought is always like, I don't want to shoot with a fisher. How can I make this work with another lens? I've never run a fisher photo. <laughs> you never run a fisher photo? No. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, that's my initial thought, and sometimes that makes it a little difficult in skateboarding because it's like, well, how do you make this interesting? Like, I like the natural element of it, and people's, when I'm shooting portraits, for example, like people's faces telling the stories and not trying to alter them too much. Like, obviously, like just finding those right angles and making people look right in camera, like that's kind of that's kind of my approach to it. Yeah.